In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the admin features of Listing Pro. First, we're going to take a look at the Listing Pro Command Center within the sort of the admin dashboard, a bit of an overview, look at some of the claim listings and approve new listings, how that kind of works. And then we're going to take a look at the Listing Pro Listing Owner dashboard. And we'll take a bit of a navigation around there, look at some of the functionality, maybe post a listing announcement, post a listing event, see how that all works. And then to finish off, we're just going to look at some of the contact and support setup so that anyone who onboards onto your listings, they know how to contact the support, get the email going in the contact page. And that will wrap up this video. So let's get into it. Okay, in this section, we're going to take a look at the Listing Pro Command Center. On our dashboard, if we go down here to Listing Pro CC, i.e. Command Center, we get a bit of a dashboard here. What we're going to take a look at today is just around the new listings and how that, that works. So if your directory is published and someone decides they want to add a listing, they would hit the button up the top right here, Add Listing. And they would choose what plan they want to go on. Um, you'll find most people will go with the free plan. And when they get here, they get the basic details to complete, you know, the title, the tagline, the city, etc., etc. Depending on how you've set up um, your maps and whether you use Google Maps, you can start using um, this feature here. So if I type in, for instance, 114 uh, Auburn Road in Hawthorne, you can see it comes straight up. So this is how someone can come in and add a listing to your directory. Now, when they do that and they press save and preview, that will give them a success notification. And as the admin owner, if we flick back to our directory administration command center over here, you will get a notification of a pending task, which um, if I just change this to say claim request, you can see there's no claim requests here. No one's done that. But if we go into new listings, there is a new listing in here. So we can check out that listing by hitting the view button. And you can review it and check that it's all OK. And if you're all happy with it, you can. This will be a claim listing because it's come through from someone who's actually adding the listing. And then up the top here, if you're all happy with it, you can publish it. So you just hit the publish button, you sure you want to publish it, and away you go. Now that listing is now live, it's a free listing, and the individual or company that um, added that listing in, they can control and manage that listing. When you come back to your command center, you'll now see that there are no pending tasks under new listings because we reviewed it, we made it a claim listing, and now we've published it. So. That's really how the ad listing works and the claim listing works in a very similar way. Um, it's just that under here, under claim requests, if someone does go to claim their listing, um, that's where you in fact will see it. Next, we're gonna go and take a look at the listing owners dashboard. If you're a listing owner and you want to manage your listing, once you've put your ad listing through and that's been approved and now you're the you're the owner of that published listing, you can do a bunch of things. So if you're logged in, which you would be as an owner, you would just click on your, your login and it will take you straight into the listing owner's dashboard. And here you can see, you know, it's a um, whole menu structure down the left-hand side. And if we go down to listings, you can see all the listings that are assigned to this particular particular account. A couple of things you can do here um, as a listing owner, and this is how you can promote your directory. Um, and these things might, depending on how you want to set it up, be in the free plan, the basic plan, a premium plan, that type of thing. Okay, if we want to do a new announcement, we simply type in, say, Tinto. Oh. We'll use this listing again, call to action type. Um, we will say book now. We might skip that 
for now. It's a 20% off Tuesdays description book now book now for 20% dis discount on Tuesday. We'll just hit save there. So if we want to see what that announcement will look like on the page, we just come across here to the directory and we'll type in Tinto to get to it quick. There it is. Let's click on it. And if we scroll down, there we go. We've got the announcements. 20% Tuesdays, book now for 20% discount on Tuesdays, book now. And that link would be to the table booking for that owner. So hope that sort of clarifies how that process works. Now, what we can also do is if we go back to our dashboard, we could add an event and add a new event, select a listing. We'll go this one again, Dento. free beer. That always gets people to the event. We'll type in and it starts we'll say on Tuesday actually we'll do it today to make sure it appears and free beer and if you had to get tickets this is where you could enter in the URL yeah this we'll just press save so we can just show how this works here so we'll go back to the directory we'll type in tinto and there we have it so we had our announcement that we put up previously now we have an event so we're saying 19th of july this free beer from six to eight and at the moment that's the amount of attendees that have booked that will definitely be going up i'm sure and yeah you can make your booking so that gives you a bit of an overview of how an owner can manage their listing in addition to the basic stuff like the description and um, social links and that type of thing, you've got the opportunity for the people that come onto your directory to make announcements um, and add events, depending on how you want to structure your listing packages into free and basic and premium. So we've just covered off the announcements and the events. There are also coupons. There's the listings where if you go in here and open up a listing, you can, as a listing owner, um, this is where your listings will appear and you can, you know, see some basic details on them, you know, in terms of how many times they've been viewed, et cetera, et cetera. So have a bit of a look around here and also just be aware that the other key one in here is the review. So as someone makes a review against a listing, this is where it comes in and this is where you can take a look at it. But I think most of this stuff is pretty um, easy to understand. But if you've got any further questions on it, just leave me a comment and I'll come back. So in this last section of the video, we're just gonna quickly take a look at the contact form. There's a couple of things you need to be aware of. If you go to pages and you see contact, uh, the contact page, which is you know, where you go to update the home page, you actually can't update the contact information here. So if we quickly just hit edit with Elementor, it's just going to tell us to go back. Okay, no problem. So to update the contact form, you just go to theme options and make your way down to contact page. And here it gives you all the fields available to update your contact page. So you can put your address, your phone number, your email, your social links, all those things that uh, you'd expect on a contact page. And then within the contact page, there is a contact form. On the contact form, you've got the ability to update some of the information, like you know, you've got your email was sent, something went wrong, etc. So you can update that and have a bit of a play around it and put in with whatever works for you. The other main one you want to update is the contact map. So I've just gone in here briefly and I've added the coordinates in here for 114 Auburn Road in Hawthorne, and we'll take a look at that in a second how this page is going to work. So with that information updated, the only other item you want to check, we'll go to appearance, menus, and just make sure that you've got a contact page on your menu item. So now that we've checked all that and updated our menu, we can go across 
to our directory and we'll just do a refresh and we have our contact menu item here if we hit it we can see that we've got our map and it's showing at 114 Auburn Road and Hawthorne is the the central point of the map and here are the available items we show that you can you can update and here's the form now the only other thing we need to do here is if you'll jump over to your listing dashboard if you've set this up you might have noticed that if you hit contact support here all it actually does is open the same page again to fix that go back over to your dashboard here and go to theme options and scroll down to listings general and here somewhere contact support page here we just want to paste in the url for our support page save changes now if we're back on our directory if i refresh this and we hit the contact support again that should be working that's taken us to the support page so as a listing owner if they want to contact the admin for the directory that button's now working and they can get to the support page next just briefly before we wrap this up you might want to take a look at the email so if we go to email management This is where you can set up the email of how it's going to work with your directory and when people put through requests for claims add listings contact form this is the email address that's going to be used so it's important that you come in here and update this there are like i've said before there's a lot of configuration with listing pro and it's just a matter of working through it and you can get it all set up so that's going to wrap up this video i hope you liked it if you did like it give us a like subscribe to our channel we have another video on some other areas of listing pro coming up soon and we'll talk to you then